Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we're taking a look today at another home theater remote. This one from a company called Pepper Jobs. Uh, this company also made a really cool mini PC that we looked at a few days ago on the channel. I'll put a link to that down below in the video description. They had thrown this in the box with it, and I've been playing with it, and I'm actually quite impressed with it. It's got gyroscopic mouse capabilities and a nice keyboard here on the back. I'm going to do a full review of this for you all in just a second. But I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that this did come in free of charge from Pepper Jobs. However, all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review, nor has anyone reviewed or approved what you're about to see before it was uploaded. So let's get to it now and see what this little remote is all about. So let's take a closer look now at the hardware. It's not that expensive, 25 bucks for what you see here, so that's pretty reasonable. It's very much tuned to Windows 10, as you can see from all these shortcut buttons on here. Uh, but I was able to get it to work with the Mac as far as mouse and keyboard support go. It also worked with mouse and keyboard on Android phones and tablets, but not on the NVIDIA Shield. So I can only get the keyboard function working and the basic remote function working on here on the Shield. I could not get the mouse function to work on the Shield. So if you're looking for a mouse for your NVIDIA Shield in addition to the keyboard here, uh, this is probably not going to be for you. I tried it on a few of my NVIDIA Shields just to make sure one was not malfunctioning. The mouse function didn't work on any of them, although the keyboard did. There are two modes of operation. Uh, the first is Windows 10 mode, which is also what would work with other devices. The little LED here will light up blue when you are in that mode. And then if you want to control your devices with infrared, because it does have an IR blaster on it, uh, you can tap on the TV button here. That light will light up red to indicate it's in that mode. And then you can train it by pointing your remote control from your other device at this one to program all the buttons. I believe you can map all of these buttons to a specific infrared control if you want. It is a bit cumbersome because you have to program in every button individually, but if you are setting this up in your home theater, it's a one-time thing to get your TV working, but I would have liked to have seen perhaps a preset that I could have programmed in to get everything working right out of the gate, but once you get it going there, you're good to go. And then of course, if you switch back into Windows 10 mode, you can have uh, access to some of these other functions. It is powered by AAA batteries, which go in here. It does require a dongle for it to work with your computer, one of these little USB dongles that you've seen before. I have mine uh, hooked up right now into the mini PC, so it needs that to work. It'll work across a room, no problem. I tested that a little bit earlier, so it should work fine uh, on your own television, but there's no Bluetooth functionality, unfortunately. Now, my only gripe with this is that there's no place to store the dongle when the batteries are installed. So if you are moving this around to multiple PCs, you have to take the batteries out to be able to store the dongle in the little holder uh, inside the remote, but that's my only real gripe with the overall design of it. Let's take a look and see how this works. So right now I have the mouse function turned off, but if I just push this button right here, that will activate the mouse function and I can uh, move windows around here pretty easily. I was surprised by how precise it is. It's using a gyroscope for the mouse control and it really seems to be working quite nicely, especially on a 1080p display. I did find some limits to how far you can move the mouse when I was working on my uh, dual display iMac over there. So I think if you're running with a single display here across the room, it's probably the best scenario for you. It'll get tougher if you've got uh, two screens hooked up to uh, keep the mouse consistent. But on a single display, it's been working out really nicely here. Uh, now the keyboard is on the back of it, as I mentioned, and what will happen here when I flip it around is it will disable the mouse function so I can type without any accidental mouse movement. And it seems to be a pretty decent keyboard. Uh, you do have to hold down the function key here to get numbers to come up on screen there, uh, but otherwise it is uh, fairly easy to type on. And then when you flip it back around, if you had the mouse mode active when you flipped it over in the first place, it will reactivate the mouse automatically without the need for a button push. And they also have the ability to execute right mouse button functions on the remote too. There's a little uh, button here called menu. And if you uh, select a file or something and hit that button, you will get the uh, right click menu popping up there as you can see. So pretty functional from a mouse perspective. Uh, now all the features you just saw were things that were uh, going to work for the most part with just about any platform. So all the basic keyboard and mouse functionality I found to be working just fine. But there are some things that you'll get on Windows 10 that you won't get on those other platforms, uh, namely a bunch of shortcuts here. So if I push this button here, for example, it will pop open the 
uh, browser for me, the default browser that you have installed. I can hit this task manager button here to get the task manager and kind of replicate a control alt delete. I can get my start menu here by pushing this button. I can even get a list of running tasks here if I hit the task button and I can very quickly switch between apps if I want to do that. Uh, so lots of cool stuff on here. A lot of different Windows 10 shortcuts are kind of baked into this thing out of the gate. You can even set up your side-by-side -side views here as well with it. Uh, so really pretty cool stuff to be able to very quickly navigate around. I can even hit this home button here to clear out the desktop and get uh, some sanity back again. So they really baked in a lot of things that makes working a Windows computer from across the room a lot more efficient, especially given that there isn't a good lean back interface for Windows. Uh, one of my favorite ones here is this notification button. Uh, so if I click on this, it will light up the uh, little hidden icon section on the bottom of the taskbar. And then I can jump into, for example, my antivirus thing here if I want. And then when I want to close that out, I can just uh, click on the close button here to get rid of it. Again, really simple stuff here that makes operating your computer uh, with a remote like this much more efficient. And it's really cool just to see all these little things that they uh, baked into this. And I'm sure there's probably more that I might find as I keep playing with it. The best part is, is that it's backlit. Uh, so when you are in a dark room, uh, the front of the remote will illuminate along with the back keyboard too. So you've got the full ability to operate this thing in the dark and it's not much larger than a regular TV remote control. So really uh, well designed and a pretty neat little device and it's only 25 bucks. I think this is probably one of the best ones I've seen uh, at this price point, but it's also better than some of the other more expensive ones I've looked at too. So definitely worth uh, taking a look at this. I'll put a link down below in the video description. Until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Anuj Zaveri, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.